Oh, can you see me? Is anyone there? There we go. Much better. Much better. Nguyen, good to see you. Welcome. Somebody else down there. What's your name, sir? Oh, they're gone. Um, Halil, Aaron, welcome. Good to see you. Is anybody else watching? Okay, well, um, Nguyen and Halil, can you hear me okay? <laughs> me? Good. Uh, good, good. Um, person who said me. What is your name, um, what is your name, please? Thank you very much. Well, what, what is your name? Okay, well, uh, let's um, let's jump in. So this is Chinese characters, yes, in uh, in may, not in English, but maybe so I can hear it. What is your name, or how how, how can I pronounce your name, please? Xinyue. So so, Shinwei. Okay, uh, Shinwei Zhang, good to see you. And um, oh, okay, so many people now. Very good, very good. Um, and I see some other people too. Hello, sir. Um, Hi. Hi. That's Hello, it. sir. Hello. You are very handsome. Oh, go on, go on. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? No problem. Yes, I can hear you. So, um, looks like we are. Oh, we are uh, just about full. That's very good. Um, just gonna hide the taskbar, and we will get going. Excellent. Um. So, uh, good to see everyone. Did you, were you able to start the class? Okay, were you able to get into the class? Okay. Good, Michael. Good to see you. See okay, you. Um, Hi. Samir, your picture is too scary. It's too scary. I, I, I beg you, Samir. Please change your photograph from the Joker. It's terrifying. It is. It is Joker. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> um, so let's speak with I like, I like, um, I, On my screen, the first person I see is Abdaram, Abdaraman. Is, is that correct? Abdaraman Adim, is that right? Am I pronouncing it correctly? <laughs> We'll come back to you. Next is Abdullah Agos. Is that correct? Yes, it's, it's me. Well, welcome. Where are you from, Abdullah? I'm from Eritrea. Eritrea. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you today. Uh, you. Next person is um, Jose Guillermo. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Is it? Is it okay? Is it? Did I? Uh, did I pronounce it okay? I hear an echo. You hear an echo. Somebody said there's an echo. Um, 
Maybe if, uh, please turn down the volume, it is, is more quiet. Echo off. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Because now I hear the echo too a little bit. Excellent. Okay. Um, Juan Andres, our team. Hi. Hi, Juan. Where are you, uh, where are you right now? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Where are you? I, I'm from Spain. Oh, good, good. Are you in Spain right now? Yes. Excellent. Uh, good to see you. Next is Michael. Yes. Uh, welcome, Michael. Where are you oh, right now? Welcome. Welcome. Well, Hi. welcome. <laughs> Where do you live, Michael? Um, I can't hear your voice clearly. Oh. Where are, Where are you? I I am from Egypt. Okay. Oh, very good. Very good. Next is Nina. Nina. Nina, hello. Hi. Uh, Where do you live, Nina? I'm from Russia. Oh, from Russia. Very good. Where in Russia? In South Russia. Okay. Okay. Next is uh, Rukia Mogami. Y yes. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Rukia. Where do you live? Uh, I am from Tunisia. Maybe? I live in Tunisia. Tunisia. Very good. Very good. Nur Nur. Next. Is, it, oh, oh. Um, Abdullah, we can hear you we when you, when you yeah, speak. So please speak yeah. quietly. <laughs> um, the, your audio is very audio good. Is it's a very good, good microphone. Very good microphone. Um, um, Samir. Samir. Welcome. 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 How are you? I'm good. How about you? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm no, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Samir. Samir. Uh, Suleiman. Uh, on my screen, he's yes. right there. Yes. Uh, where do you where live, do you Samir? Live? Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm living in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yes. Very good. Um, and last person, <laughs> Shinwe Azang. Is that correct? Yeah. Correct. Where do you live, Shinwe? Oh, I live in China. Do you know China? In China. Where in China? I live in Chengdu. Okay. Good. Good. Well, um, welcome everybody. This is uh, what what level English is this? Beginning, intermediate, or advanced? Intermediate. 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 Yes, yes, it is. So it's it's in the middle, right? Not too high, not too low. So I want to start with a little bit of review, just a little bit. Um, let's talk about the past, the simple past. Yeah. Do do all of you know the simple past? Yes, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. My question is, what is the idea of the simple past? Something happened in the past. Yes, tell me, yeah, good, good. Somebody new, tell me more about the simple past. Uh, this is the action that's finished in the past. Yeah, that's perfect. So, um... Oh, you know what? I hear an echo. Can somebody else, can, can everybody turn their volume down? The echo is strong. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, I think that is the correct answer. Shinwe and... Uh, oh, it's killing me. Too loud. Um, can you... Do other people hear the echo also? Yes. I think... Uh, 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 Abdul have to mute. Okay, well, Abdul, mute. You have your headphones on, right? Yeah. Abdullah, do you have the speakers on your computer on? Or is it only your headphones? Okay. Um, I might try muting you, Abdullah, just to see if the problem goes away. Sir, please mute him. I'm I'm trying I'll, I'll try I'll try I'll try there we maybe. go maybe 
echo comes from him. Yes. yes. Maybe. Maybe. We will try. Um, actually having trouble muting him right now. Uh, yeah, Abdullah, can you please turn down your volume? Can you please make it more quiet? Okay. That, uh, we'll keep going. Um, it's about the same, actually, for me. Uh, but the idea for the simple past is that an action is finished. It's done. It's over. So um, with the simple past, something has happened in the, in the past, and it is not continuing right now. So please give me an example of an action in the simple past. Uh, I read the book. Sir, I will try. I will give you... Oh. Okay, so more... I read the book. It's perfect. More examples, please. A few of people were killed a days ago. Okay, a few. It's a sad story, but it's true. A few people were killed a few days ago. Um, I took me, a biology class last year. I took a biology fun? class. Okay. Yes. So, is Funful studying biology right now? No. She finished. No. It's finished. It's over. Done. Right? Right. Give me one more new person. New person, please. Give me one more uh, simple past sentence. I played football last night. I played football last night. Perfect. Is is he playing football right now? Uh, no. Last night. Now, I know you know Samir. I want new people. But yes, you're yes. correct. Of course, Samir. Okay. You are not playing football right now. It's finished. Um, so let's try the simple present. When do you use the simple present? No. And the present. Describe, when describing a habit. Rukia, good. Uh, tell me more, Rukia. Uh, when we use always and usually when we describe a habit, we use the simple present. Okay, Rukia, I think your English is more than intermediate. I think you might be like up here. Uh, because that is correct. That is, a, that is one time you use uh, the simple present is for a habit. So what is this word? What is what is a habit? And I put it down there. Um, what is a habit? You're learning. Something you do, you do it every day. Samir says something you do every day. Close. Does it, does it have to be every day? Often. 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 Okay, so um, this is perfect English because I'm hearing many words that people use to describe a habit. And I think a habit is something you do many times, but you, you never stop doing it. You do it, you stop for a little bit, you do it again. Give me some examples of habits, please. Like I brush my teeth every day. New people, Samir. She went. New people, please. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. No problem. New people. What is? What are some examples of habits? To ride bike. Ride a bike. Mm. Yes. That that is um that's something people do a lot. We usually don't say that is a habit. 
but it is something you do regularly, right? Give me okay. another example of a habit. Going to work, for example, I go uh, go to work every day. See, that's not a that's not a habit. That's just something you have to, to do, right? To go to movie. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it depends because there are some things everybody does. You know, everybody works. Maybe you work at a job. Maybe you work at home with your family. You take care of your child. That you know, this is work. You have to do it. And there are some things that almost everybody does. Most people watch movies. Do you like to watch movies? Yes. Me, Nina? Yes. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. Do you like to watch movies? Yes. Yes. Yes, I, I yes. love movies. I want to see the new Tom Cruise movie soon, Oblivion. Um, yeah. So, in American English, usually work and things that everybody, everyone does, they are not considered habits. A habit might be um, uh, something a little bit unusual, something not everybody likes, but something you like, something a few people like. So Michael, if I can ask you, what is one habit that you have? Uh, uh, I, I play football every day. Okay, and maybe not every day. But you play it sometimes. I like to play football, right? Maybe you play once a week, even even two times a month. I think um, mm -hmm. that's something you like to do. A habit usually we say is something like um, smoking cigarettes. It's a bad habit. Do not smoke cigarettes. But smoking cigarette yeah. is a is a typical habit, right? Um, drive. Uh, but, is it, yeah, is it, but so many people drive. Is it's, it a Russian uh, habit? Or? I'm sorry, Samir. Uh, is it a uh, brushing your te uh, brushed uh, your teeth? Is it habit or? You can say it's a good habit brushing your teeth, um, even though you are supposed to. Yeah. Um, and Yoan is smoking right now. Yoan, mm -mm. no smoking cigarettes, Yoan. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible. So, um, for for you, uh, uh, Michael, you said you play football. How often? Do you play uh, football? Almost twice a week. Almost, we would say about twice a week. Yeah. Yes. How about um, watching movies? Everybody, how often do you watch movies? Uh, I watch movie, movies uh, uh, three times a week. Three times a week. Oh, so good. So good. Tell me more, other people, please. I watch movies about uh, about uh, twice a month. Twice a month, three times a week. Um, Simone Bernard, are you there? Can you yes. hear me? Y yes, I can hear you. How often? How often do you watch movies? I uh, usually watch me movie on uh, Sunday afternoon. Okay, but every Sunday afternoon, more or less. More or less, yes. Okay. Um, anybody else? Maybe Funful. Yes, I usually watch movies during the weekends. Okay, on we'd say on the weekends, right? But that's good. You watch movies on the weekends. Yeah. And Halil, we would say twice a week. Not two. Twice. Because it's two times. Twice, twice equals two times. There we go. Um, so Halil, does, do you understand Halil? Yeah. I hope so. Okay. Um... So there are, I guess I should just tell you, the, exp the name of the thing is adverbs of frequency, right? So frequency, what is this word? Frequency. What is it? How, what is frequen frequency? How often, uh, yes. I do think. How often I do think. 
How many perfect. times? That's perfect. How often? How many times? Right? Um, frequency. How many times? And what is an adverb? Uh, it's a verb that describes Nina, you must give other people a chance. Oh, Nina knows all the answers. Oh, not fair. Um, but you are correct, Nina, of course. It's a word that describes a verb or an adjective, right? So, um, people say, I like to watch movies. I... Or I watch movies I watch I movies watch movies. I never watch movies. I okay there there you go. I never watch movies. By the way, the echo comes from China. Oh it, from um <laughs> Xinwei? Xinwei Zhang, is that correct? Um, yeah. Xinyue, can you please turn down your volume so it is a little bit more quiet, please? Yoan says once every four years. Oh, you need to watch them more often. Abdullah says, um, Abdullah, oh, I, I cannot hear are you. Are you okay? Are you okay? I turned down my voice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, and Abdullah, I cannot hear you. Let me try again. Hmm? Let me try one more time. <laughs> oh, Michael, you sound terrible. Um, okay, so let's, let's practice some adverbs of frequency. Uh, give me some examples of adverbs of frequency. Always. Uh Always. Always. Uh, More. Yeah. Uh, often. Often. Good. New people. Usually. Sometimes. Usually. Never. Rarely. So good. So good. These are excellent. Um, give me two more. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, good English. Oh, this class is too easy for you, Samir. You need to be in a higher class. No, um, not. <laughs> what else? Frequently. 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 Maybe. What else? What? Maybe. Maybe is a little bit different. Maybe, I think, is a modal. Um, uh -huh. uh, okay. But it's, it's a similar idea. Right, the idea is similar, but we use it. We use maybe in a different way. Jose, seldom. Suddenly. Good English. Seldom. What else? Suddenly. Suddenly. Yeah. Um, that is an adverb. It's a time adverb. I don't think it is an adverb of frequency because frequency says how many times, right? Suddenly doesn't okay. say how many times. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so loud. Abdullah, you must turn down the volume. It's so loud. Um, okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, Abdullah, you must. It's too loud. It must be more quiet, please. Okay. So, um,. Let me show you on here, right, uh, how I would arrange the adverbs. This is my first time using this, so I do not know if it will work. I hope, I hope this will work. So, at the top is always, uh, already does not work. Um, let's see, oh, and Abdullah, please, you, you have to turn down the volume or I, I have to mute you. Hold it, put the computer closer like this. And then <laughs> it can be more quiet maybe. Um, or you can mute, the, okay, now it's okay. Um, so at the top, what is, what is the top frequency? 100%? Always then, sometimes then. Oh, 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 oh to, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh no, too much. Always, yes. Always, 
equals 100%, right? Yeah, perfect, 100%. Um, what is maybe, um, maybe 90%. 80 percent what is, what is 80%? Which, which adverb for 80%? Often. Usually. Usually, I would, usually is like 51%, right? Normally. 51% mm -hmm. plus is, uh, is usually. I would say 80% is frequent. Frequently. Frequently. Yeah. Frequently. Um, and what's after frequently? Often. Often? Yeah, I'd say like 70 to 80 percent. 70 percent. Uh, equals... Is it 50 often. silent? Often? Often. often? often? Yes. You can say often or often. Usually often. You're right. No T. Usually. But sometimes you can. Um, often. 51 percent is what? What's that one? Usually. Uh, usually. usually. Yeah, yeah, usually. Maybe um more if if a little bit if I can use a little bit of math, usually is more than fifty one percent or more than fifty. Really? Sixty is some oh yeah, thank you. Sometimes. Oh no no. Mm -mm -mm. Because sometimes I don't know. Sometimes maybe is forty percent. Maybe twenty percent. Um so because more than fifty percent is usually. Right, sometimes is more, you know. I think sometimes, in my in my opinion, sometimes is like thirty percent to sixty percent. Some it's sometimes, sometimes. What is, what would you say is forty percent? What else is maybe forty percent? Rarely. Rarely. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Um, that, that's 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 next. That's less often. What is what would you say is forty percent? <gasps> Yoen, you're crazy. Every time? Oh no. Oh Abdullah, I'll see you next time. I'm so sorry we had the problems with the headphones, um, but good luck next time. Uh, yeah. So what is uh zero percent is never. That is correct. Zero percent. Um, so what would you say is yeah? Uh, goodbye Abdullah. What would you say is forty percent? Can you repeat? What is, you know, so 100% equals always. 40% equals? Normally. Normally normally is like 80%, 90%, right? Normally is the normal thing, almost always. Now, usually? No. 40%? Usually is Sometimes. more than 50%. Usually, I think usually is like, you know, fifty-one percent or more. Um, I think forty percent is like sometimes. I think thirty percent to forty percent equals occasionally. Fifty percent usually, fifty. It's more than half the time, right? Um, more usually is more than fifty percent, and um, and what is uh like what is rarely? What is rarely? Twenty percent. Five percent. Type your please type your answers in the box. Show me what is rarely. Twenty percent, five percent, twenty percent more. Everybody, what is rarely five percent or less? Ten percent, percent percent. Whoa, well, say you're crazy. What is percent percent? Ten percent, twenty percent. Fonfo says lol. Thank you. Um, in my opinion, and different people will tell you different. Oh, Michael, see you next time. Different people will say different things. Uh, in my opinion, rarely means like 1% to f like 5%.
rarely means very un it's very unusual it's very unusual right so um for example please tell me something that you rarely do give me an example please go to gym <laughs> I ra oh terrible really like 1% 5% this might yeah. be terrible. Let's see. Let's I this. really, I really hate women. Re <laughs> no, no, no. Terrible. Never. You must never. Zero percent. Zero percent hit people. Oh, I make a joke for you. Uh, th thank you, but that's a bad. In America, we do not, we do not make those jokes. So B Mall says, I rarely drive fast. Is that correct? Is that correct? Oh. Mm, yeah. I know. Yeah. That's perfect. Hello. I, okay, we, we, we're listening. So um, we're talking about the answer there. I rarely drive fast. Good. Um, thank you, Bimal. Uh, somebody else, maybe. Um, oh, I see Ahmad. Good to see you, Ahmad. One of my first students. Good to see you again, Ahmad. You, please. Yeah. Please tell me something you rarely do. Rarely. I rarely uh, cook myself. Okay. I rarely cook myself. I would say. I rarely cook my. I rarely, rarely cook never. Okay. So um yeah, some people say never. Vivian, I rarely drink soft drinks. Good. So for Vivian, right? Perfect English. I rarely drink soft drinks. How many times? How often? When? Hmm. How often does Vivian drink soft drinks? She rarely. Yes, of course. Rarely. Almost never. Uh, of, yeah, that's correct. But but Nina, in a in a week, in a month, in a year, how yeah. often does she drink soft drinks? Once a week, maybe. Once a week, maybe. Other people, what do you think? It depends. Of course, it depends. But what's what, when she says rarely, Nina? What do you think? Once a month. Maybe once a month. Other people. Um, Jose, new student. Good to see you, Jose. Jose, uh, how often do you think Vivian drinks a soft drink? Like in in one month, Jose. How many times? Okay, bye, Simon. Do you think she drinks? A uh, soft drink, uh, ten times in one month. It might be less. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Because she rarely. Correct. So to me, rarely means you know every day. Always is like every day, right? Sometimes maybe three times a week. I think rarely. To me, I think once a month, three times a month. So Vivian, tell us the answer. How many times do you drink uh, soft drinks in one month? Oh, Inga did some good math. Thank you, Inga. So Vivian, we are all waiting. Please tell us the answer. In one month, how often? Do you drink soft drinks? I think it was an example. <laughs> no, well, uh, well, Vivian really is in the class. She can tell us what. How often do you drink coffee, or drink uh, soft drinks? I'm sorry, Vivian. How often? Okay. You can speak. Vivian, can you hear me? She's gone. She's gone. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe one time a month, I, I, I think. Um, Rukia, please, give me an example of something you do rarely. Um, I rarely do sports. Okay, rarely play sports. That's yeah. the verb for sports. I rarely play sports. Play sports. Okay. So for other people, um, Nina, in one year, 
How many times does Rukia play sports? Okay, Vivian, one to three times a month. Good. Good answer. Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. So Rukia says she rarely plays sports. So when you hear that, what do you okay. think? In one year, how many times does she play sports? Once a month, uh, 12 times uh, a year. Maybe once a month. Inga, what do you think? How often does Rukia play sports? I mean, sports is like soccer, football, tennis, you know. Yeah. So, Inga, what do you think? Hi, Dan. Sorry, uh, my Hangout just down, uh, just allowed it, so I didn't hear the question. Could you repeat, please? Of course. We can hear you now. No problem. So, um, Rukia said she plays sports rarely. She rarely plays sports. In one year, what do you think that, that is? Do you think she plays uh, one time a year, 12 times a year, 24 times a year? I thought that I already put my answer in a verbaling chat for the, <laughs> for the case rarely. Uh, if but, but rarely in your case is uh, one or I, I thought 5%, then in that case uh, it will be uh, 17, 18 times a year. Okay, so in my, well the thing is, I mean, I, Inga, you had such an interesting idea, it's so mathematical, right? It's, it's such a, she had yes. a very, right? Inga had the most exact answer. Um, so from, the, with rarely, with all of these ideas, it depends on, it depends on what most people do, right? Yeah, um, sure. Uh, most people... And it's hard. It's hard. You know, like most people play sports in America. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe one time a month, maybe two times a month. Not very much. So when someone says, I rarely play sports, that's like one time a year. Right? Because for most people, it's 12 times a year, 24 times a year. Rarely is like one time a year, one time every two years. Rarely yes, is like it, almost it, it, never. Almost. Uh -huh, yes. yes. So someone said, I rarely, <laughs> um, I rarely teach classes. Ahmad, that's perfect English. Uh, it's sad, but it's perfect English. Um, so, so tell us the answer, Rukia. In one year, how often do you play sports? Yeah, it's like um, once or twice a year. See? See? It does, and for me, it's like four times a year. It's it's seldom, uh, except in English, seldom is very formal. We don't say it. I would say not very, not very often. Um, and Rodolfo, so for you, it's your f first time in Verbling. Welcome. Congratulations. We are very happy to have you. Um, so the, uh, for you, this time you can watch the class. And later, you can find out how to invite a friend on Facebook and get um, a reservation so you can participate in the class, like the, the nine people here. Or you can get a subscription. And you can participate in any class. Um, so yeah. So, um, so Yoen, I would say, I rarely sing well. Thank you, Vivian. Vivian is the teacher today. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's very good. Um, oh, Sammy, welcome too. So let, let's hear one more example. Um, uh, Rodolfo, please tell me something you do sometimes. Uh, I sometimes, well, I sometimes uh, go swimming. Can I sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes go swimming. That's great. Uh, so now, other people, um, 
maybe uh, Shinwe. Uh, how often does Rodolfo swim in one month? How many times? Mm. Can you speak again? Yes. In one month, how many times does Rodolfo go swimming? Mm. He sometimes go swimming. Yes, but how many times? One time? Ten times? Twenty times? How many times in one month? Mm. About uh, about uh, twenty times. Twenty times, Samir. What do you think? Uh, sorry. How many times in one month yes. does uh, Rodolfo go swimming? Um, he said sometimes already. He said sometimes, but how is sometimes five times? Is it one time? I think, I think uh, maybe four, four times. Four times. In a month. In a month. Okay, Rodolfo, maybe tell one us. Times in, uh, in week. One, one time a week. Or once a week, right? Once. Once a week, same as uh, one time a week. So, Rodolfo, tell us the answer. Uh, I go swimming uh, twice a week. That's pretty good. Sometimes. For me, that's often. Or I, I would oh. say I swim a lot. I swim a lot. <laughs> I swim pretty often. So do you see that one? I swim pretty often. Do you see it there? I can see. Why the word pretty? Good, good. Means good? Not exactly. Very. Not exactly. Very. Um. Very often. Kind okay. Of often. I'm sorry. Uh, kind of often. Kind of often. It depends. Pretty is. Sometimes pretty is like very. More than this is good. Often. Sometimes. Yeah. Right, sometimes. But for some words, oh my god, there's an echo again. Um, some words uh, are a little bit formal in English, right? Often. The word often is uh is is pretty formal. We you with when I talk to my friends, I usually do not say often. I say often at work when I talk to my boss. Um yeah, I can say, oh, Jake, you often make me stay at work too late at night. Um, so when, with my friends, to be more friendly, to be more casual, I will say pretty often. And that sounds more friendly, more casual. Yeah? Do you understand? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same with seldom. Seldom is, in America, seldom is pretty formal. English. It's kind of serious English. But I can say pretty seldom. So, you know, I, I swim, you know, pretty seldom. I, I, I go swimming pretty seldom. I go swimming twice a year, maybe. I don't like to swim. It's too difficult. Too hard. Um, damn often, good English. That's very. Um, uh, we don't say that so much in American English. Uh, so, so those are some examples. So I would say pretty seldom. And go swimming twice a week. That, that, that's pretty good. I go. I would say I go swimming pretty often because most Americans swim zero. <laughs> most Americans <laughs> swim like one time a year at the beach, and we like to relax. And then we sit back and drink a Coca Cola and relax. <laughs> um, so twice a week, Rodolfo, you are in very good shape. You are uh, maybe the number one student today. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. So uh, let's do one. Is this does this help you a little bit? Yes, it's very helpful. Yeah. Do you want pretty helpful? 
pretty, oh, excellent. Good English. Pretty helpful. Pretty helpful. It's pretty good. Um, and this is a good example because I think this is good to practice for you. Because um, for the beginning students, they don't know any adverbs, right? And I see your question, Vivian. Um, most you know beginning students know no adverbs or never, right? And for you, you know you know some adverbs, right? Um, often, always, sometimes, rarely, never, occasionally, seldom. Uh, so for you, what you need to practice is using all of them correctly. Always using them correctly. So this is this is good practice because you cannot learn how to use them correctly from a book. You have to learn them by by speaking to somebody and by and by practicing with them. Yeah. Do, do you understand a little bit? <coughs> so so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I see. I see. So, so Vivian says, what adverb should we use? For something we just do on weekends. Vivian, give me an example, please. What do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends, Vivian, that you want to practice saying with adverbs? Oh, Yoan, you rarely read books. I would say, Yoan never reads books. That is always very sad. Yo, and please read more books. So important. Okay, so she goes out with her friends on weekends. This is an excellent question, Vivian. Thank you. How can Vivian say this in English? What adverb can she use to describe how she goes out with her friends on weekends? What adverb of frequency? Um, sometimes. Only. Only. She always. always. Always? Always is like. Every yeah, on weekends. Day. She said, no, no. She said, I only go out with my friends on weekends. She always go out with her friends on weekends. Is that right? Oh, Maud, yeah. you're like and up the... here. You're like up here, maybe. <laughs> Can on I weekly basis? Periodically. Sorry, on Nina, again, basis? please? On weekly basis? On weekends? Weekly. Weekly. Weekly is kind of formal English. It's really just for business. I would say, or Vivian can say, I always go out with my friends when. I always go out with my friends on the weekend. Often. Yeah. Or every weekend. Thank you, Ahmad. I go out with my on, you need to go to my advanced class next time. Um, but that's correct. So um, here's a question for you. Uh, so Vivian, does that answer your question? Does that is this the answer you were looking for? Yeah, good. So please look at these sentences here. Um, where is the um, adverb of frequency? Which sentence? I always, I always go out with, or er, I go out with my friend every week. I go out. Where is where in the sentence is the adverb of frequency? In the end, the first one. It's at the. Is it always at the end? Where else? No. In the second example, it's uh, in the beginning of the sentence. That's good. Oh God, Inga, your English is so precise. It's so exact. Yeah. yeah. In the second one, it is at the beginning. In the first one, it is at the end. And usually, in um, usually in English, in American English. We put the adverb of frequency at the beginning or at the end, especially with something like this, where it's like every Monday. Oops. Every Monday, I wake up early, or I go. Uh, 
adverb of frequency at the beginning and at the end. Do you see it? Every Monday, every Monday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see it? Yes? Yeah. yeah. Um, Sir. Uh huh. I have a question. Uh huh. Some adverb may be put before the verb. Yes, you're correct. What is an example, please? I couldn't understand what he said. He says some adverbs go before the verb, which is true. Please give me an example, Xinwei. Mm. I often go to work at uh, 8 o'clock. I often go to work at 8, right? That's correct. Where is the adverb in that sentence? Often. Where? In the middle. Yes, and, and I think more important is that it is before the verb, and that is exactly what Xinhua said, right? It goes, um, sometimes the adverb is before the verb. You're right. Many times that is true. Um, so what is what I see here is that there are some adverbs that are only one word, right? We talked before. Rarely is an adverb. Give me more adverbs of frequency that are only one word. Lady Remarque, good to see you. Go see ya. Hi. Um, give me more one word adverbs. Please. All of them want one word adverb. Usually, yes. Give me more, please. Hardly. What else? Yeah, please type them, please. Uh, quick, quickly, like 10 seconds. Please type, type your answers here. Never, often, more. You have five seconds. Everybody must type one adverb. Five, four, three, two, one, point five, point two five, zero. Okay. <laughs> Terrible. So frequently, occasionally, sometimes, barely, usually, occasionally, seldom, often, infrequently, There's so many, right? So one word adverbs like this, adverbs of frequency, usually go before the verb, right? I seldom watch movies, right? Before the verb. Do you see it? I rarely brush my teeth. It's not true. Every day, like twice a day. But do you see it? Um, Exactly like Shinwe said, the adverb is before the verb. Right? You, good. It's true, Vivian. Um, that is sad. So, but sometimes an adverb is two or more words. Give me, give me the example from Vivian and her friends. What was the adverb in that sentence? Every weekend. Thank you. Perfect. Every weekend. When the adverb is two or more words, it's called, you don't have to remember this now. It's called an adverb clause. Clause is usually two or more words. Mm -hmm. And an adverb clause usually goes at the beginning or at the end of a sentence when it's two or more words, right? Every weekend I go shopping. Every month I go swimming. Once I go week. shopping every weekend. I go swimming once a month, right? So every weekend, once a month. What is once a month? What does that mean? 
one monthly. Time. Just one Correct. Every one month. time. One nine time. times out of ten, do you go shopping, Lady Remarque? Is it nine times out of ten you go shopping? <laughs> Too much shopping. Um, <laughs> or please study English more. Um, yes. So uh, once a month, give me more examples of adverb clauses, please. Every other day. Good. Good English. Please give me more examples of adverb clauses. By chance can be by chance. I'm sorry? By chance. By chance? That is an ad you're right, that is an adverb clause. It's not exactly of frequency, but it's an adverb clause. Um, so uh, let me let me tell you try something else. Give me an example of something you do once a month, please. I pay my rent. Once a month. <laughs> you got it. Very that is, good. That's perfect. I pay my rent once a month. What is another way Ahmad can say that? Monthly. Monthly? Yeah, it's a little bit formal. But it, we, we talked about the adverb clause, right? He says, I pay my rent once a month. What is another way he can say that? <laughs> Once a month, I pay rent. I pay rent every month. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nina and Samir. Once a month, I pay rent. I pay rent once a month. That's it. That's all. So I want you to see that the adverb clause can go at the usually in English is at the beginning and at the end. Nemo, welcome. Good to see you, Nemo. Vivian says, I give my cat a shower once a month. That's a sad time for the cat. <laughs> Yolan says, I, once a month, I call my old friend. Okay. So, um, one time in a year. What's another way to say that? I saw someone say, one time a year. What's another, maybe more typical way? to say that. Mm -hmm. You can that, that can be rarely. Um you would you would probably say once a year. Once a year is more natural. Yeah. Um and Vivian, here's a question. Is one time a year is it always rarely? Is that rarely? Is one time a year rarely? No. Oh. Thank you, Nina. That is perfect. Uh, your, your English is too good. Please, with Ahmad, come to the advanced class next time. It depends okay. on the action. See, Vivian says that's extremely rare. I don't know. Give me an example of something that is often if you do it one time a year. Okay, we celebrate our birthday. Oh, our dog is barking. That, good, good. But give me an example of an action for which one time a year is often. Is to celebrate your birthday. Travel to another yeah. country. I celebrate my birthday every year. Is that rarely? Vivian, is that yeah. rarely? No, that's that's always. I always celebrate my birthday every year, one time, right? That is not rarely. That's every time, right? I travel to another country. For some people, yeah, that's a lot. I go on vacation every year. For in America, it's very sad, but in America, that is pretty frequently. Because Americans get very little vacation. Uh, give me another example of something that is frequent if it happens one time a year. Rodolfo, please. Uh, one time a year? Yes, once a year. Uh, 
we celebrate Christmas once a year. Perfect. I celebrate Christmas every year because Christmas oh. is only one time, right? One time a year. Same with birthday. Yeah. So I celebrate <laughs> Christmas every year. Celebrate Hanukkah every year. Celebrate Eid every year. Yeah, this is you know that's that's every time. So um, we we are almost done with class, but what I want you to remember about adverbs of frequency, the number one thing is that the adverb you use depends on the action. For some actions, doing it once a week is rarely. For other actions, doing it once a year is always. And you just have to think about the action when you choose the adverb. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah, does that yeah. help you a little and bit? Does that help yeah, you yeah. a little bit with adverbs? Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes, yeah. very much. Okay, Thank good. you. Thank all you, of sir. you all of you are good. All of you understand adverbs, but I want you to understand them more. Okay. Thank you very much for the class. I will see you next time. Thanks to you, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for okay. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye bye.